Hi teachers! Last Saturday, I uploaded my debut video here on YouTube. I suggest you watch it first. And as promised, I'd let you know kapag nag-release na ng update ang Google. At ito na yun. I have just finished editing that video and then the next day, Jamboard has been updated! However, it may or may not show in your Jamboard yet. It's still in its beta version. So let me show you its new features right now. Plus, I have some bonus ideas for you to make your online classes more engaging using Jamboard. So make sure to stay with me until the end of this video. I'm Teacher Rebecca, and this is RevUpEd. For today, we will highlight Jamboard's fresh and out-of-the-box tools. Don't worry, lahat ng ipapakita ko sa inyo ngayon ay available, free, sa web version. Sa previous version, kung gusto mo maglagay ng shapes, you use the writing tool here, or insert an image using Google Image Search. With this updated version, we can now directly insert shapes on our whiteboard. Upon opening your jam, circle lang ang makikita ninyo dito. You have to click it twice to view all the other shapes here. We have circle, square, triangle, diamond, rounded rectangle, half circle, bar, and arrow. To draw a perfect circle, select circle and click anywhere on your whiteboard kung saan mo gustong ilagay. You can now then resize it by clicking and dragging either of these two dots here. By doing so, mamamaintain natin yung aspect ratio niya. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya magiging out of proportion. If you want to make circle-like shapes like oblong or ellipses, you may click and drag these square dots outwards or inwards to your desired shape eccentricity o kung gano'ng kailunggated ang oblong na gusto mo. The same thing applies to all shapes. So if you want to insert squares, select square, click anywhere on your board, and resize using these blue dots here para the same pa rin yung lengths ng sides. If you use these, magiging rectangle siya. O kung kailangan mo naman ng rectangle, pwede mong gawin to or you may use the bar shape. If you're a math teacher o kung nagtuturo ka ng programming, you might need a rhombus or parallelogram. We can use the diamond instead. Just stretch it and rotate it to create rhombus. Or a parallelogram. Another method of inserting shapes is like this. After you select your shape, pwede na ninyo kaagad i-resize kung gaano kalaki o gaano ka-stretched ang gusto nyo. Long click your mouse and drag your cursor hanggang sa makuha ninyo yung size and shape na gusto ninyo. Then, release your mouse. Perhaps you have already noticed these new tools here sa taas. Lumalabas lang sila whenever you select the shape tool or an existing shape on your board to edit. You may change the outline color of your shape and the fill color of your shape o yung kulay sa loob ng shape mo. Pwede ring transparent. Inserting texts using sticky notes was nice and all. Medyo underwhelming lang kasi nakokonfine sa loob ng square shape yung texts na nilalagay natin. Also, the text color is limited to black. Meron din siyang minimum na size and may limit kung ilang characters lang ang pwede nating i-type sa loob ng sticky note. Google heard us. Kaya ngayon, naglagay na sila ng text box here in the Jamboard. Mas marami na siyang pwedeng gawin compared to sticky notes. Para ka lang naglalagay ng sticky notes sa PowerPoint or Google Slides. Just select the text box tool, click anywhere on your whiteboard, and start typing. That's it! Of course, it does not end there. Katulad kanina sa shapes, every time we select a text box, meron ding lumalabas na extra functions dito sa taas. Meron ditong variation ng style or size, but by default, it is set to normal. But you can also choose from display, title, subtitle, normal, or caption. Pero mas madali, you just resize your text box, then automatic na siyang nag adjust Pwede na rin baguhin yung font color. Consistent naman yung color options sa lahat ng tools. Pwede gawing blue, green, yellow, red, or white. May option na rin to change the alignment of your text kung sa left, center, or right. And wala na rin limit kung gaano pa karami ang ilalagay mong text dito sa text box mo. If you can remember from our previous video, we discussed about planning your Jamboard layout. Before, yung first element na nilalagay mo na pupunta sa ilalim, then yung latest element na nilalagay mo na pupunta sa ibabaw. Now, things have become more convenient with this updated version. We can now already arrange which one goes at the back and in front. You will see this new feature when you click this three-dot menu here. Select order, pwede kang pumili kung bring to front, bring forward, send backward, or send to back. May makikita ka rin ganitong options in other applications like PowerPoint, Publisher, Slides, and the like. I have prepared here three shapes na magkakapatong. If I want to put this triangle sa pinakalikod ng lahat ng elements, I can select Send to Back. 
Kapag naman gusto ko siyang ibalik sa pinakaharapan ng lahat ng elements, I'll just choose Bring to Front. Kapag gusto ko naman siyang ilagay sa gitna ng two elements, I may use Send Backward or Bring Forward. This time, I'm going to put this between the square and the circle using Send Backward. It will move backward ng paisa-isa. The same idea sa Bring Forward, pupunta siya sa harapan ng bawat element ng paisa-isa. There you go. Now for the bonus part, I'll be sharing with you some learning activity ideas using the new tools and features na ipinakita ko sa inyo kanina. But first, like this video if you think that the activities that I'm going to share with you will be useful for your online classes. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell para lagi kang updated whenever I release new videos. Here you go! pa kung paano natin magagamit itong Jamboard sa online classes. Share mo naman sa comment section below. Also, here's the link to my Facebook page for more updates. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.